recognition and celebration of Juneteenth is growing across the nation and here in Washington. June 19th, 1865, the date to remember because that's the last day that remaining enslaved African Americans were set free here in the States. They started the celebrations early in Bremerton for Juneteenth today. Fox 13's Frankie Thompson is there showing us how communities in the region are recognizing its history. We're in Bremerton where the NAACP just finished its annual resource fair as a day of service for Juneteenth. Now the official holiday is on Monday, June 19th, but communities are already celebrating and educating people about it. The blood of slavery seeped deep into the American soil and cannot be easily removed. Raised to the sky is a flag representing history in the United States. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Communities across the region are celebrating the nation's second Independence Day, Juneteenth. Three years ago, the city council and I as mayor recognized Juneteenth for the first time in our city's history. While Federal Way raises a flag above City Hall, Bremerton commemorates Juneteenth with a day of service to build community. Making sure they understand the importance of Juneteenth and the people that have paved the way for them to be where they are today. For more than 150 years, African Americans across the country have celebrated Juneteenth, but many others in the U.S. are just learning about the history and significance of this holiday. In January 1863, President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, declaring all enslaved people in the rebelling states of the Confederacy be free. But it wasn't until after the Civil War when the last remaining 250,000 slaves in Texas Texas were informed of their freedom on June 19th, 1865. And as much as we celebrate this flag today, we still have a long way to go to make sure that our communities, that our country, and that our society as a whole understands that we are not truly free until every single one of us is treated equally. After calls for social justice and taking a stand against systemic racism, in May 2021, Washington State made Juneteenth a legal holiday to recognize the historic day. President Joe Biden signed a bill making it a federal holiday the following month. Just the history you know, of, of everything that we've gone through for hundreds and hundreds of years, I think it's, it's important to be able to celebrate, you know, our blackness. It's black history, it's American history, and with time, it could be a day all people celebrate the second day of independence together. Uh, we can do better together than we can apart. So many communities in our region are celebrating Juneteenth this weekend and on Monday, the official holiday. Be sure to stick with Fox 13 on air and online as we give you an inside look at some of those celebrations. Reporting in Bremerton, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.